Good morning. Welcome, God's people. You reached Waiting for the One, Grace Podcast, Scriptures Read Daily from New Living Translation Bible, along with daily greetings, requests for happy birthdays, births, anniversaries, other prayer requests, poems, and more. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, let your word resonate and penetrate in us and give us faith, love, hope, health, wisdom, strength, and all we need for today. Amen. Psalm 91 is a protection prayer. The recommendation of reading or hearing it is one to two times daily. Today, we recite it together. That is Psalm 91, 1 to 16. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. The first scripture is Genesis 39.3. Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph, giving him success in everything he did. The next scripture is Judges 14. 5-6. to As Samson and his parents were going down to Timnah, a young lion suddenly attacked Samson near the vineyards of Timnah. At that moment, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon him, and he ripped the lion's jaws apart with his bare hands. He did it as easily as if it were a young goat, but he didn't tell his father or mother about it. The next scripture is Matthew 5, 9. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. The next scripture is Galatians 5, 16 and 18. So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. But when you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law of Moses. Now we have extra suggestive reading for the day. Genesis 39, 1 to 23, Judges 14, 1 to 20, Matthew 5, 1 to 48, Galatians 5, 1 to 26. Today we have a poem titled, The People of God. We are fragile clay jars on this earth. 
people do not realize how much Jesus is worth. We are the clay that you molded in every way, each and every day. Each person has their own indent and scars. God's hoping that one day we will all reach the heavenly stars. God, you engrave each one of our clay jars with greatest detail. For each one of our lives is a fiction tale. Some get smashed on the ground, but you always search for us to be found. You collect the pieces one by one and glue them so that you can refinish and polish them to a gem. Your work is never done. You are always on the run. You have the special tools you use. Jesus, you are in our lives the ultimate fuse. One day we will return to clay dust, only when your time is a must. Each clay jar is made unique. I am sure they would be profitable in a boutique. When all our jars are complete in its design, that is only when you will stop to resign. Today we have two birthdays. Happy birthday, Noah. There's a message from Lori and Fernando. God bless you today on your birthday and always. And also happy birthday, Canada. Thank you, Jesus, for our country, Canada. We have two birthday prayers today. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless Noah today on his birthday, pour in many blessings that overfill and run into every area of his life. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We also have another birthday prayer. And it is for our country, Canada, and for all the people living here. God bless our country, Canada, and all the people living here. Today on their its birthday, pour many blessings and overfill and run into every person's lives that are living in Canada. I ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and joining in with us. We look forward to you listening in with us tomorrow. The theme for tomorrow is titled Who to Trust. Birthdays, occasional prayers, requests can be left at wishingwell142 at gmail.com. The two W's are capitalized and the remaining letters are lower cased. If you're interested in becoming part of our prayer team and transforming into a prayer warrior, please leave your name and cell phone number at the same email as the birthday and prayer requests. We look forward to your requests and you becoming part of our prayer team. Have a God-blessed Thumbs Up Thursday for yourselves and your families. Amen.